do men get more pleasure out of PIV sex, penis and vagina sex, than women do? And I'm here to say yes. If you were looking at orgasms for sure. And I hope that you will watch my video that I made a couple days ago talking about the differences between men and women sexually. Um, to wrap it up, <laughs> uh, a man is designed to be easily aroused. That's why God made men easily aroused, anything visual. And they pretty much want to stick their dicks into anything. They would stick it into a cantaloupe, uh, a grapefruit. I'm exaggerating probably. But men will know what I'm talking about. They have that urge to insert and that's a biological drive and they climax pretty easily. Um, it can be from a few seconds to a couple minutes. Some men um, try to make themselves last longer but most men can ejaculate from um, putting their penis inside of a um, an opening of any kind, a mouth, a vagina, or a rectum, if they're gay, and climax within minutes, unless they're desensitized, let's say. And they have that need to release. So a man always looks for an opportunity. I'm exaggerating here. You know, a lot of men have a lot of class about how they go about sexually. But if they're unrestrained, if women would just go along with it, just look at how gay men behave. You know, they'll go up to other gay men in the street and go, hey, you want a blowjob? They have. <laughs> the reason that straight men don't go around doing that is because they know women don't like it or they would, believe me, okay? So a man says, why not? So when it comes to sex, a man's, I'm exaggerating perhaps, but his attitude is why not? They're not that choosy. Any hole will do. So, ladies, when a guy wants sex with you, it's not because he likes you. It's because you're available. And he would do your sister or your roommate or your neighbor. You're available. So, you got to screen these guys carefully before you have sex with them if you want to be valued for who you are. So, while a man says, why not, a woman will say, why? Why you? Why now? And we're designed by God to be more choosy, or the universe, or the creator, evolution, because until the last few years, and since, I mean, we've had birth control since the 50s, but we were designed through millions of years of evolution, and birth control isn't foolproof, so our bodies were designed to be choosy. Our brains were designed to be choosy because we have a lot at stake. We can get pregnant. And that is a huge cost to a woman. Nine months of pregnancy, two years of nursing, nurturing, caretaking. And it's usually, it falls to the women to do this. So women are more likely to get STDs. Women are the smaller species. You know, a man can overpower us. So we're supposed to be choosy. And sex works really well when men are like, wanting it and women are choosy because it forces men to be in their hearts to make sure women want them and to develop the personality characteristics that make women want them. Confidence, ambition, um, provisioning, good social skills, caring how the woman feels. But yet we as women also need to be understanding to the men in our lives that they need sex much more than we do. And sometimes men will cheat on their wives because their wives are not having sex with them. But other times they will cheat on their wives because their wives refuse to give blowjobs, refuse to let the man come in her mouth or other things that they ask for because their need for sex is so strong. And women need to understand that a man has a strong need for sex and figure out um, how she can satisfy him also in a way that she can be a yes to it. Like whatever boundaries a woman has or things that make her uncomfortable, it's important for women to explore because a man's needs are just as important as a woman's needs. And too many women are entitled and they're like, well, I don't want to do that, so I'm not going to do it, not realizing how deeply it affects the man. 
And men need to know that a woman isn't going to just want to have sex just because she married you or because you want to. You have to build that, keep that relationship with her. When you come home from work, you need to give her a hug. You need to listen to her and care how she feels. Because if she feels neglected or uh, unappreciated or if she's angry at you, she's not going to want to have sex. So that's why I talk about the differences. But now, penis and vagina intercourse, a woman, only 5% of women climax from intercourse. And that has to do, I believe, with the position of the clitoris. The clitoris uh, is, uh, the, the clitoris is internal. It's four inches long. It's four inches of erectile tissue um, made of the same tissue as the shaft of the penis. And depending on how it's positioned in the woman internally, the back legs of the clitoris are near the vaginal opening. So if a woman has more tissue there, she may climax from penetration. Um, she may have a cervix that has more nerve endings. And so a woman can climax from penetration, depending on how her clitoris is situated around her vaginal opening, um, how many nerve endings she has around her G-spot, which will swell when she is aroused, how aroused she is, how she trusts her body and lets go. But for sure, even though there are some women who have never orgasmed, um, the surefire way to get a woman to orgasm is through clitoral stimulation, which is external stimulation lasting 20 minutes approximately, and your penis has nothing to do with it. So that's why they talk about the orgasm gap in heterosexual couples, especially in hookup sex. In hookup sex, it's extremely rare for a woman to have an orgasm. And so, yes, the guy who left a comment on one of my videos yesterday saying that I think that men get a lot more out of penis and vagina intercourse than women. Yes, they do. They absolutely do. Uh, they get an orgasm, guaranteed, um, while a woman risks a pregnancy and an STD. And that's why women are choosy and they're supposed to be choosy. And um, I myself am choosy for the kind of man that could be a good provider and a good father. And I think that is a very good standard it's like would this would this man be a good protector and a good provider for my children so that's my personal standard but uh, anybody can have their own now since for women it's personal so for men the drive is mostly physical they have that need to release for women it's more personal so even a woman who hooks up a lot, she's not going to hook up with just anyone. A guy that hooks up a lot, like I said, any hole will do. He'll pick her, you know, because she's available. He may just rail and bail, never want to see her again. As soon as he comes, he wants to get her out of there. He doesn't really like her. For a woman, it's more personal, I believe. She has certain, because we're more discerning, Maybe he's a trophy fuck, you know, maybe he's cute in some way or whatever. And a woman is usually saying, why you, why now? And so it's personal. And so also when women have sex, for us, it can it is often more personal. And a woman will often enjoy intercourse without needing to climax at all. A woman can enjoy sex without needing to orgasm because... Um, the physical pleasure is sufficient. It doesn't need to lead to orgasm, and she can enjoy the closeness. There are men, too, that can enjoy the closeness and the sensuality of sex with someone without needing to climax. That does happen. I have seen that happen. I've talked to men who feel this way. But in general, the man's drive fit biologically is, is to release. Physically, he needs to release. And a tantra, uh, a tantra instructor once told me that a man's sexuality starts in his penis, his lower chakra, and goes into his heart chakra. He has to engage it, whereas a woman's sexual energy starts in her heart chakra and it has to go down. And um, that's why you ladies, if there are any ladies watching who are not having sex with your husbands, um, I really encourage you to find out what's in the way of you um, not wanting to engage with him sexually and open that lower chakra because a man to be fully satisfied in the relationship, he needs to have your love and your body 
Um, and men, if your woman isn't having sex with you, it's probably because you're just uh, engaging her physically and not emotionally and mentally. She's not feeling valued, loved, and appreciated by you. Or her lower chakra is closed. Anyway, um, yes, men definitely get a lot more physically out of sex. However, I think women can get a lot emotionally out of it. And for me, you know, when I'm in a relationship, for me, it's also, it's a bonding experience of closeness with my partner. It's not necessarily about having an orgasm. It can be, but that's not, you know, the, the fact of bonding with my partner and pleasing my partner and surrendering to my partner um, are all satisfying. So just always remember in a relationship, there's, you, him, and the relationship as a separate entity, and that relationship has to be nurtured. Um, drop your comments below if you have any other questions or topics you'd like me to talk about, and thank you for watching my video.